I've spoken before about how all the clickbait misrepresentation of what people say really annoys me. And I see it all the time in, in MMA. I see it in everything across the world. You know, it's a social media environment and people are trying to get clicks. And so they try to overemphasize what people said and they misrepresent what they said a lot of times. You can interpret a whole bunch of ways, but it usually has to do with people are trying to stir the pot or they hate somebody. So they're trying to make them look bad or whatever. But no, it, it, there's so many times people don't just say what the person said. And it annoys the crap out of me because it's so hard to nail down. You got to like go down 10 layers to try to find what the person actually said because you're like, wow, is that person that big of a jerk? Like here's one example of probably 10 or 15 that I saw. And I'm not picking on Eddie Alvarez. It, it, you know, I got no problems with Eddie Alvarez. Just it, it kind of annoys me because I saw it so much and this is just one of many it just happens to be the one that kind of came up first when I put it into Google. And I was like, oh, okay, this will do because this says it. So you start with the, the headline. It says, Eddie Alvarez blasts Dana White over Francis Ngannou comments. Quote, nobody in the USA, in the UFC, <laughs> Jesus, it's, it's early here. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. Nobody in the UFC is afraid of anyone. I don't get what... Dana said, I don't get out of it that that's what he said. Now, you can say that Dana is always pushing to further his product. And I get that. I, I have my own issues with Dana. It might sound like I'm apologizing for him because I've talked about some of the things he's done or said recently. You, you're wrong. I, what, I don't need to defend him. Dude's loaded. He runs the company. do whatever he wants. He don't need me to tell him what to do. You know, <laughs> and they never listen to me anyways. Shit. People I talk to don't listen to me to begin with. But, um, you know, he says, UFC simply lost the bid for Francis. Instead of admitting that, they go on the narrative. <clears throat> they go with the narrative. The, the. He meant that the scariest mother after alive is afraid to fight in the UFC. These jokes write themselves. That's not what Dana said. I didn't get that by what Dana said at all. All he said is he could take the money that they offered him, which would make him the highest paid heavyweight that they've ever offered. That sounds like a reasonable statement. Uh, I would imagine it's true. It seems it is. I've seen some articles that say that he would have made more than uh, Brock Lesnar. Okay. And then he said that he felt that he was going to go fight a lesser opponent than what Dana considers to be the best guy to ever do it, John Jones. I don't find any problem with Dana's statement. You could say his intention was to stir up stuff. I can't know that. I don't have an opportunity to ask Dana. But on the face of what he said, I thought it was uh, very clear. Because he considers John Jones to be the best, and he can get, let's say, $10 million. Or he can go and fight someone else in a super fight and maybe make 12 Whatever that number is, who cares? It's, that's not the point. The point is more. But that would be a lesser opponent, opponent because Dana considers John Jones to be the best to ever do it. I think that's a well-reasoned argument. I think... I, it really irritates me. I don't see a problem with that statement. Again, I don't care anything about Dana White. I'm not trying to get an interview with him. I, I would never even do interviews, I don't think, in my life. Did a million of them when I was younger when I did radio, and I couldn't care less. I'm no, I'm no star fucker. Don't give a shit. I, I respect them all, but I couldn't care less. It has nothing to do with my life, and I'm just not the click guy. I don't care. I'm going to say, speak my mind, and that's what I do, and I'll probably, one person will ever hear my voice, and who gives a shit? Because <laughs> I'm not doing it for that. But it really irritates me that people do this all the time. I don't think Dana said that Francis Ngannou is afraid of anybody. I don't think that's at all what he said. He might have purposely been 
messing with it, uh, Francis's ego, that's entirely possible. Some people are really good at psychological games. In my job, I see it all the time. It's entirely possible. But that's not what he said. So you can infer whatever you want, but you should label it as such if you're going to do that. I think Dana White was inferring that, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I think he was tweaking in Ganu so he comes back and the UFC makes him a lot of money off him. I'm completely fine with, with writing it that way. If your opinion, I, I have no problem with someone's opinion. But it's never stated as that. He's saying, you know, that Dana's saying that, that Francis Ngannou is afraid of people. Come on, man. Nobody's saying that. I, not that I've heard. I don't think. I don't think I've heard one person say that. I don't believe that. But I do think what Dana was saying is that Francis Ngannou has made a safer bet on himself. I mean, that's what I take out of what he said, which is fine, whatever. Dude, it's Francis's life. And I felt that that's what Dana was saying. He's decided to go with lesser opponents, meaning John Jones is the best. And he said that. He laid that out clearly. He he actually spoke those words. People keep skipping that part, which irritates the hell out of me. They purposely don't tell you that. In many of the articles and videos that I've watched, they leave that out glaringly. Or I see that part cut off in stuff. It's so it's so annoying. I, I think that everyone likes Francis. I don't think I've heard of anyone disliking him, including Dana. I don't think he's ever really said anything bad about him. You know, and I think everybody wishes him the best, but I think all MMA fans want to see him fight MMA. I, but the other side of it's perfectly understandable. Look at He goes and boxes once, and it, does it really matter if he loses? I mean, he's not a boxer. So I think people will put that into perspective and say, well, hey, he, you know, he definitely hits like a truck, and he gave it a chance, and he made, I don't know, $40 million or who knows. You're fighting Tyson Fury. Who knows what you make? Some ridiculous amount, which is pretty smart, right? I mean, who's going to turn it down? And I think I think that's what Francis's position is. He can go do a super fight and make – Probably more than he ever would any other way. I don't know. You never know how these different paths go. The world changes all the time. But it's not like it's an unwise decision. And I think that's what Dana was saying. You know, it's a lesser opponent in the fact that, you know, if you're fighting MMA, John Jones is the guy. You know, he's the GOAT. So I don't know. It just, it, it to me, I think... People, when they're doing stuff, intentionally leave stuff out so that it's more enticing, misrepresent because they don't like people. That's my opinion, and I think you'd be hard-pressed to prove me wrong.